Hi everyone, Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again today on another demonstrational video from comments from my other videos. And the question is about Pro Tools first, the Avid free version of Pro Tools that you can download and install and create music. One of the limitations with uh, Pro Tools first is that you can only have three songs saved up into the cloud. And the question was, how is it possible to actually save the stems on your local computer so that in the future you can refer it back to it once you finish, let's say, the song, but in, in case you want to come back to it for some reason? Well, there are a couple ways. If you look at the clips and where they are saved, you can actually go into the cache in the folder of Pro Tools and the WAV files would be there. Now, there's one way of, of taking it but, uh, and making copies of it. But I'll show you another way. If you recorded WAV files, like your guitar and your vocals, they'll be there. But if you use the built-in um, Expand 2 from Air, uh, MIDI notes, like, like the drums here, and the bass and piano as my example, obviously those WAV files are not going to exist. So, if you want them as well, this is the video that you need to watch. I'll try to be quick because I've been asked that my videos are sometimes a bit too long. But uh, then again, I'll try to explain as much as I can and be entertaining as well. So you learn not just how to do it, but uh, the reasons behind it. Okay, so I'm not an expert in Pro Tools. I have to mention that, but um, I know how this works. So what we need to do is first the drums, the bass, and the piano, which are MIDI notes, we want we need to convert them into audio WAV files and then export the WAV files as stems and we can keep copies of it. Okay, let's uh, work with the, let's have a quick listen first. I've just done something very basic. It's just one of the templates that came with it. It's called Songwriter. So anyway, you get the idea. Just tracks I've done, and you can see that here, the piano doesn't start until uh, bar five, and there is a reason for it, and that's because I want to demonstrate the reason for that. Now, to convert MIDI into audio, what we need to do, just let's go over here, and track new. Let's create um, stereo. Actually, let's create three of them. At the same time, audio track and text samples. Anyway, let's create them. So we've got, where did they go? Right at the bottom. Let's move them up right there so we can actually see them. So I'm going to call this drums wave. Okay, let's call this was wave and let's call this one piano wave now let's solo this one out and let's use the output of this track which is the output of expand 2 okay here we go that's the drums there into a bus 9 and 10 so now the output of the drums will go to bus 9 and 10 and then we come here and we select the input to be bus 9 and 10 and then go back out and we need to solo that and put into record mode so whenever we play now the output of the this track which is the drums from expand 2 will go into this track, which will be recorded as WAV file. Here we go. Let's arm it and start 
the play. As you can see, waves are being recorded, whatever the drums is. Okay, so now we have the waves. So we can mute that one. And we should be able to hear these drums here instead of that one. Okay, so that makes sense. The drums, let's do the bass. Again, the same thing. Okay, we've got the bass as well. And for the third one, I'm just going to show you something else and demonstrate this one as well. So I'm just going to arm that, solo that. Oh, there's <laughs> a microphone coming in. So let me just switch that to that <laughs> bus 9 and 10. And we want the output of this one to go to bus 9 and 10. Again, you can select any of the buses anyway, so any empty bus that you want. Now, one thing I should mention is when you're actually doing this, obviously it's all got to be real time as well, is any effects insert that you put in will be printed. So depending on your need, whether you want the plain piano with no effects or any instrument that you're recording with no effects or you want the effects embedded as well, so if you import the stems, let's say once you export the WAV files, the stems, and you want to import them into another DAW, like Presonus Studio One Prime, which is the other free DAW, then you don't have to put any VSD plugins because you can use the plugins from here if you wanted to. Depend on the application. A lot of times people would actually want raw stems out without any inserts so they can actually manipulate it later on any which way they like. But I'm going to demonstrate that to you. So as it's recording, I'm going to enable the D-verb and mod delay and, with, and I'll put them really intense levels so you can actually hear the difference. And you'll be able to hear how when the audio is recorded, we'll have those effects printed. So let's go back to the beginning. Just going to remove the bypass. I'm going to add the delay. You can tell even from the waveform how the, the delay effect is coming in. back to normal again. Okay, so we've got the piano as well, so I'm just going to mute that. All, all my MIDI tracks are all muted, so now I should have all my WAV files ready to be played. Just going to listen to the piano. You can see when the reverb came on. And when the delay came on. Okay, as you can as you can hear, so when, when you enable any inserts, when you're recording it, those inserts are also applied and printed. Okay, so the next one. So let's select all of our tracks. That one, I'm pressing the shift key and clicking and selecting all of those tracks. Now what we need to do is we need to consolidate. That means this gap here, we're going to make sure that all the waves, all the clips start right at the beginning at bar bar one and measure one. 
So because piano starts later on, what we need to do is fill this gap with blank so that when you import it into your other DAW or later on even to Pro Tools again, they all line up correctly. So to do that, you select all of your audio clips and you go into Edit and say Consolidate Clip. Now we have all three equal clips, WAV files, all consolidated. As you can see, now we've got two WAV files in our clip area here. One of them is the original one. Now that all the three that are selected, highlighted, are the consolidated one. So they're all equal in size. So you can right click here. I mean, the easiest way, there is another menu you can use, is export clips as files. You click that. Say I want WAV file, multiple mono, or interleaved. 24-bit for the call destination. Let's choose a destination stems. Uh, I've already put under Pro Tools stems. I had to create this uh, folder for this demonstration. So it's all there. Use current folder. It's good. Duplicate. That's all fine. And we click export. Now we let it export all the three files as stems. So looking under Documents, Pro Tools, Stems that I just created, here we go. Those are all the files. Because there are WAV files there as well. These ones, they're small because there must be something in the project that I didn't look. But the ones that we created is this one. Let me expand that so we can see. We can tell by the sizes, they're all the same size, roughly, that you've got the bass, the drums, and the piano. I'm not sure if the lead guitar and the rhythm guitar, they probably were there before, from my last testing. <laughs> anyway, so that's how you export the stems. Now you have the copies of the files from your Pro Tools first. Hope this was helpful. If it was, give me the thumbs up and that way I know it was useful for you. And if you have any further comments or any further ideas, different ways of doing it, please share. Uh, you can comment below. I know you can actually copy some of the files uh, across. Um, if we look into Pro Tools, um, Project Cache, and some weird numbers and things, you can actually see that the audio files are here as well. So you can certainly copy them. I'm sure they're pretty much the same thing and um, how that works. But it's all there under stems. At least you know that these are the actual ones you exported it with the actual effects because those files will not have the inserts added to them. They'll probably be raw. So anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. Until next time, cheerio.